SEWIT has further strengthened its partnership with civil society organizations from surrounding countries, all aimed at improving their performance towards their objectives of creating a well-informed citizen of this country who can take part in decision-making. Citizens Watch has had an exchange program with delegates from Burundi on how they can work towards it. We are here for uh, a study visit. Uh, we came for exchange of experiences between uh, uh, our civil society of Burundi and uh, Uganda civil society organizations. We have been uh, in many districts. We have been in Aluwa, in Koboko, in uh, Mbarara. We have uh, been in Kampara, uh, in the Guru. Uh, we met uh, many organizations. We met uh, district authorities and we learned uh, uh, so many things. Uh, uh, on uh, with the civil society of Uganda. We have so far implemented two European Union projects and the team from Burundi got to know about us through the EU channels and in that case they requested to come and conduct a learning visit. Delegates from Burundi represented different civil society organizations, government institutions and international agencies that operate in Africa. These delegates were very much impressed by the way Ugandan citizens take part in national programs and also decision making on issues affecting their communities. This is a very good in, uh, question. Uh, from what I, I learned in Uganda, I will go to my country and I will use some strategies in fighting against this, this uh, corruption. How was Citizens Watch is a civil society organization that advocates for free and fair elections, improved education, health, water and sanitation, which is a right to all Ugandans and not a privilege as one may assume. See it? See it is citizens, uh, citizens Watch it. It's a consortium of about six uh, regional local organizations within Uganda that form the umbrella of CEWIT. Mainly CEWIT is involved in thematic areas of election monitoring, social accountability, livelihoods, and also creating platforms where citizens can be able to engage with the citizens, with, the, with their respective leaders. And uh, we use several platforms like the neighborhood assemblies, manifesto days, and also mainstream ICT in all our work. In Uganda, uh, what I observe in the corruption domain, I was uh, in the Alua district and uh, I've seen uh, an organization which name, name Maso, Macho, Macho, and I, I, I've seen that uh, they use sadness to show that uh, to show the money, the stolen money, and uh, they use it to show uh, how the money, the stolen money, can help community in many activities. One of which is election monitoring, where we did even from the previous 2011 elections. You can refer to some of our reports, and even the reports on the European Union, they've captured a lot of our information there, where we use the platform of uh, Wushahidi and Wuchaguzi for election monitoring in terms of ICT. That's mainly crowdsourcing. And then we've also done projects on social accountability. And then, of course, we've used the Citizen Manifesto to, as a tool of engagement in these other different projects. This engagement with colleagues from Burundi was intended to share ideas, views, and opinions in effecting their operations. Some of the places visited include Gulu, Koboko, Arua, among others, within West Nile and Northern Uganda. Abdel Latif Mukasa, Record TV. Kampala.